So, um, it seems like this show is sort of both kind of playing into a lot of the Dallas stereotypes and the Texas stereotypes, but then also kind of dispelling some. Like, yeah. could you like, talk about that for a second, I guess, the <sighs> lifestyle? Yeah, well, you know, there really hadn't been a show out of Dallas since Dallas, you know, in the 80s, right? And so, anytime you go anywhere in the world and you bring up the fact that from Texas, people are thinking, where's your cowboy hat, your boots, you know, your, your horse? And there's a little bit of that in the show, but you have to realize that Dallas is a medium market of six and a half million people, Dallas Fort Worth. We're the fourth largest media market in the country. New York, LA, Chicago, Dallas. So, you know, we, we don't we're not like a big country with nobody there. I mean we're as progressive as any city in America. And economically speaking, we're probably the number one city in America. So you know, I hope the show does have some of what Texas is and what it's always been. But as the first show in twenty years to come out of there, uh, I hope that we can portray Dallas in a different light. You know, big city, progressive. Uh, you know, people don't wear hats and boots all the time. They got loafers and jeans and yeah. you know, conservative looks. So um, I think that I think you're going to see a different Dallas. And uh, just last question, I guess. Uh, is there any? What would be your favorite date or? Um, I don't know, any kind of experience you had on the show that, um, that we have to look forward to? The very end. The very end. The last day is the best one. Give us a hint. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, let's just say there's a movie ending to this, this particular show, got which a, I think is different than any other show that's been on TV. It's got a Hollywood Dallas ending. It's got, it's got a movie ending. Yeah. Nice. You, you, have to, you have to watch and see. Great. Wait till you see your own. <laughs>